Uh, we talked about leadership with guys like Smart and Rose. What is that? Is that a real thing? Like, I don't know. Ja seems to be a guy it's a good where question. It, it, seems, it seems to be a guy where Ja, ja seems to be the type of guy where Ja's going to do what he wants to do. Yeah. Like he might listen to you about stuff on court and you big bro and all these type of things. And I can see all of that happening and, and no, having no resentment towards those guys. But once those games are over, I can totally see him be like, all right, man, that's cool, but I'm about to go do me. He seems like he's one going to do One of the reasons, thing. you know, they made the draft night trade mm -hmm. last year and they traded DeAnthony Mountain for the rights to David Roddy and mm -hmm. they took in Danny Green's expiring contract yeah. with it, right? They could have cut Danny Green. They could have tried to flip that contract. Mm -hmm. That's then, right? One of the reasons they didn't and they carried him into the mm -hmm. season was they got really enamored with the idea of Danny Green, veteran presence yeah. in the locker room, right? <laughs> and if you remember media day, Danny Green talked about like he yeah. would be the veteran presence uh -huh. and the veteran influence. And we see how the season went, yeah. right? Not all <laughs> veterans are created equal and not yeah. all veterans, you know, are going to not, not every player is going to respond to every veteran the same way. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I know that the Grizzlies believe. That Derrick Rose, and especially Derrick Rose, but also Marcus Smart, are mm -hmm. players that that will have that John Morant will pay more attention to mm -hmm. than he paid attention to Danny Green, right. right? And I think we've seen. I think go back to John's rookie year, he seemed to have a good rapport with Jay Crowder and especially Solomon Hill, mm -hmm. right? And so I don't know whether that's going to have an impact. I know the Grizzlies believe it's going to have an impact, and that's partly why they did it. That's not the only reason they did the Marcus Smart thing. I think you know. The idea of replacing the Dylan Brooks role was mm -hmm. very important to them. So that was primarily an on-court thing. But I think the veteran locker room influence in a way that they felt would have actual influence right. was a part of that equation. Yeah. It, it seems like Smart is going to be more of a in-your-face, loud you yeah. know, type of guy with Jaw. And it seems like Rose is going to be the more whispering in his ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's standing right. Standing beside him and just kind of, hey, you know, just kind of saying stuff, you know, I don't think I don't think he's going to be the guy in Jaw's face. Could be the good cop, bad cop, yeah, right? And I'm sure, yeah. and I'm sure those two guys will kind of work together with Jaw. It'll be interesting to see, man. I think we'll see. I think I think it's going. You're going to see more on court maturity from them. I don't think they're going to like stop him from just doing Jaw stuff that he wants to do off the clock, though. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't, that, I don't see how Jaw's got to have that come to he's, Jesus yeah, himself, and yeah, hopefully he already has, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if if this 25 game suspension doesn't do it, I don't know what will, but mm -hmm. I. The Josh stuff is obviously the obviously the Josh stuff is frustrating, mm -hmm. right? You know, news you know news flash, but it's especially frustrating because it seems like so easy to get past, mm -hmm. and because he is so great, and it's just you just want to just just go just go be great, man. Just go be great, right. and, and you know it's so unnecessary, mm -hmm. the, you know, the the stuff that that has sort of sidetracked him, and like I just sort of I just have to have faith that like. He knows how great he can be, and he knows this has sidetracked him. That yeah. he will, that he'll just get it back together. 